It's a behind the doors mystery, and it's not just who gets invited to the dance, but where do they play? As Melissa Hippolyte tells us, some passionate VCU basketball fans are not entirely happy with the NCAA's tournament selection process. Melissa? Candace, bars like this one on Main Street are going to be packed on Thursday, filled with VCU fans who tell me they wish they could be in Portland, Oregon with their team, but they just can't afford it. Mo says no. Where Mo goes, Betty Tudor usually follows. Been all up and down the East Coast, everywhere that we've played. But Tudor, better known as the Sign Lady, won't be in Portland, Oregon for VCU's first round tournament game Thursday. It'd be nice if they were in this side of the country. <laughs> Tudor and other Ram fans gathered at the Siegel Center to send the team off on this year's March Madness journey. Many of them wishing they could join them out west, but unable to afford it. And I would be going. I just, it's so much money for a flight ticket. We looked up how long it would take to drive, one day and 20 hours. But for the third time in the past four years, the powers that be sent VCU out west to open tournament play, a decision that these fans say left them disappointed once again. It seems like us and Harvard just get the short end of the stick for some reason. Still, they're grateful the Rams are even in the dance, unlike their rivals down the road, the Richmond Spiders. We're lucky. I'll probably wear gold. And there are a few local VCU fans, after all, who are throwing caution to the wind and shelling out for what they consider a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm not saying this is the last hurrah, but in case it was, I wouldn't want to miss it. That gentleman tells me he hopes the next story we're talking about is whether or not people can afford to go to Los Angeles. That is where VCU will play if they win their first game and their second game and they make it to the Sweet 16. Working for you in Richmond tonight, I'm Melissa Hippolyte for CBS 6.